What up fellow naughty steppers, another day, another review, let's go, let's go, let's go! As you will have probably noticed already, the sound isn't as clear as in previous videos, but that is because I've been having a problem with the microphone I was using. Uh, apparently the sound was only coming out of the left side, that's the feedback that I've been getting from some of you guys. Yeah, I haven't had enough time yet to sort that out, but it will be dealt with very soon. And so just for this video and possibly the next one, you're going to have to deal with a bit more of a spacey feel in terms of that vocal delivery. As I said, it will be sorted soon, so do not fret, guys. Anyway, today I'm wearing this uh, Dubstep is Medicine t-shirt. I got when I was about uh, 15 years old and you know it's incredible now that I'm 23 that it still fits me but you know some people they just don't grow do they? But anyway it is a very fitting t-shirt for the EP that I will be talking about today and it is Chopper by Guillotine released on Audio Records. Audio is a label that was formed at the turn of this year whose sole release prior to this new Guillotine EP was issue 1. A compilation showcasing some new tracks from some of the finest up-and-coming producers in the dubstep sphere. And this EP comes from one of the biggest names on that list, Guillotine, who has produced for the likes of Firepower Records and Most Addicted and Kinphonic in the past. And I got into his music as soon as I heard his remix of Try This by Pegboard Nerds. A very thumping edit with a staggered style and a lot of intense, dark energy to it. Triumphant in many ways. And there's an extent to which he deploys that style early doors here with the title track to this new EP. A staccato-esque effort that couples prehistoric groans with a general glitchiness that really lets the listener know what they're in for. And I usually find it hard to get into stop-start tracks like this, but I feel like this one does it perfectly. With all the individual notes folding over each other effortlessly as the track progresses. And it reminded me somewhat of the Tiny C remix of With The Flow by The Trickers, which I included in my Top 20 Remixes of 2017 video. So check that one out if you haven't already, if you want a bit of crossover, a little bit of, a little bit of semblance, a nice little recommendation from ya boy. And the true bit of similarity that I find between these two tracks lies in the fact that they both sound like they are being completely toyed with, stretched and manipulated to the fullest extent, so that every last bit of juice can be taken from it. As devilish as that sounds. And speaking of toys... I mean, you get interesting song titles, people. And then there's Yoi Toy. Yoi, 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 yoi. It's just brilliant. Again, this one taps into that overlapping style with notes falling in on each other whilst a very solid backdrop underlies it and keeps it contained somewhat. And these robotic growls or belches or whatever you want to call them are very reminiscent of the monochrome EP released by Our Enemies a couple of years back, who funnily enough is also heavily involved in this audio records project. And in particular with Yoi Toy I love the isolation of those brief bullet notes which I shall try to impersonate. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't so great, but I think you get the idea of the style that Guillotine was going for here. It just hits you. Little, little pellets of sound like that, you know, just flinging them at you. And then we move on to Slime, which is a lovely collection of sounds, readdressing that acidic style of synth that was so fervent in the previous track. And I absolutely love that fidgety interlude leading into the second drop, skittering everywhere and bubbling under the surface. And that little bleep bloop that permeates the track as a whole is so damn catchy. And then you have the final tune, Take It Out, which is a fantastically swampy track with a stunning, grandiose midsection that prepares the audience for yet another demonic battle. Yet it was the outro that impressed me a lot about this song also. Very simple, but it slows the song and the EP down to a standstill very well, allowing us to reflect as implied, not only on the song, but on the EP as a whole. And overall, I'd say this is an EP that constantly bends and twists, tearing at the consciousness of the listener, with a seemingly unending amount of surprises to constantly keep the audience guessing and wanting more. And throughout Chopper, there is a great array of outer-worldly, extraterrestrial sounds that give it that bit of unfamiliarity, yet make it simultaneously extremely intriguing. And don't get me wrong, there are definitely points in this EP where I feel like Guillotine's sound could have been fleshed out a little bit more. 
but the rich variation in sound whilst pertaining to that outer space theme makes this a very, very solid EP from start to finish. And so my thoughts on another EP draw to a close. Thank you very much once again for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video, share it about, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Chopper by Guillotine. What did you guys make of it? I thought it was pretty ruddy brilliant myself. And also be sure to leave a comment with any tracks you've been getting into recently in this first couple weeks of 2018. And be sure to like and follow Naughty Step across all social media too, it would mean a lot guys. All of which, as per, is linked in the description box down below. If it's naughty, then you know. So keep it naughty guys, and stay safe. See you in the next one. Peace.